the Canlos Crash and Burn Journal would be a great read. Like, like it's embarrassing. Like, like it's 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 endearing. Um, we get said no to all the time, all the time, and it's it's a lot of humble pie. I'd about to be totally honest. It's like, oh man, okay, hold on a second. Um, cool. I mean, we lost eleven James Beard Awards before we won one. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, okay, I thought I was. I thought it was there, but maybe not. And um, and I and it's. I'll be totally honest. I wouldn't have said this at the time, but we need that. We all need that. We all need to remember. Like, okay, I got work to do here, and it's on me to earn it. Someone's not eating in my restaurant. That's on me. You know, we were ten years ago or so. Uh, the restaurant was really slow. Like 2007, 2008. The economy's in a hard way. People aren't showing up. Right. This place is just feels like a ghost town. We're doing. On a slow night, 20, 30 guests, 40 guests, because we're a big restaurant. That's just, we're losing money. And I got really angry. And I was just like, oh man, we're working so hard. I believe this is still a really good dining experience, you know? And someone said to me, it was like, hey, if someone's not eating in your restaurant, that's not on them. <laughs> like, that's on you. So, like, maybe take all that anger and turn it around a little bit. Like, take all that frustration. Like, I, I'm quick to point the finger. Like, ah. But honestly, I was like, wait a second. I needed to look inside and say, wait a second. No, we can do a better job. Maybe I need to change my attitude a little bit here. If my restaurant's empty, that's on me. I can't be angry at them for not appreciating. If I think something's beautiful, no one else thinks something's beautiful. That's not their fault, right? If I paint a painting and nobody wants to buy it, that's on me, right? So like, I really had to to turn that around like we we've been a slow restaurant before we've been empty we've been rejected and I, and i wouldn't want someone to look at canlos and say oh yeah it just comes easy for them it's like no <laughs> we can talk all day long about um it not going well so thank you for sharing the true side of and the adversity um of of what you go through because it, that's very encouraging for a lot of people because you know it's like it seems like a very uh short-term game for people who who are in it for the first year two years three years and they're hitting walls all the time and yet they forget when they look at you guys it's 70 years of hard freaking work of and trial and error that into a wall yeah <laughs> right totally. so it's like wow and it's, people forget that and they they, totally. they get like it's 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 super encouraging. Here's a little so, secret. Will, Will Gadara's dad used to tell him all the time, adversity is a terrible thing to waste. I would love that statement, right? Like you're running a new restaurant and you just feel like you just feel like you're hitting wall after wall after wall and that you're not making any progress, you know, two steps forward, three steps back, baloney. Those three steps back are valuable. Like that adversity is valuable. It is honing and refining um, w what it is about you that you like and the things that you wanna shed. It's teaching you incredible lessons. So that adversity, I mean, the amount of negative press Candace has got or bad reviews, man, those things shaped us. They woke us up and we all need that. I don't care who you are, but we, we need that. We need someone to say, you know, hold on a second. 